All right, let's so let's jump in now to the uh, being able to workflow processes uh, very easily within Camino and how tasks are set up and can be completed by individuals in the city or county. So in this example, we have our submittal. We've gone through it. We've reviewed it. And we say we've got a complete submittal here, right? So we can transition uh, right up here at the top. And in this example, we're going to be able to workflow either to a plan review status, a planning commission status, or we can close it out. And how we build that workflow is right down here <clears throat> on our, our workflow processes down here. And I wanted to jump in and we got a bunch in here, but I wanted to show you uh, this one that we're working off of right now. Okay. So, you know, here we are, we're at the permit status now, and you can see our two options were here, and we had the option to close it out as well. And you can see here all have the option to, to transition to a closed in this example. The big thing I hope everyone's seeing here is a very easy way, very intuitive way, we can add statuses, we can add directions, change directions, how this work flows, um, and we can save that workflow here as well. But another powerful piece is we come into plan review, which we'll be going into in a second, uh, and come over here to more options. You'll see that each status is able, to, you're able to add the steps that will uh, occur in that um, status. So, right. So, in this example, when we go to a project review phase, it would have these three reviews set up. You also have the ability to uh, have them auto assigned to an individual or, in this example, to uh, a department, right? And the ability to uh, identify whether it is a mandatory step that has to be completed uh, or not. And very easy to remove add additional steps, et cetera, right? So going back to our uh, submittal and jumping in like we just were, we're now gonna change this status to uh, plan review like we talked about. We're also, and you have the ability to notify uh, the applicant that this is being changed. Uh, good to keep the communication going here. Uh, and in updating the status, you'll now see it added these three plan review steps, right? The, um, the applicant is also updated to this, and you can share as much of this information or none if you, uh, if you don't want to uh, share it. But as we go in now to uh, this step, let's say as an example, this was assigned to the building department, but maybe... Uh, I wanted to, to sign it to an individual. And in this example, I'm going to assign it to myself, right? And I'm going to give myself a due date of a little over a week from today. For everyone, you have your own individual login. In this example, I'm going to be, I'm going to receive an email that I have an additional task. Uh, but at any time, I can log into Camino and uh, I have my own list of tasks that have been assigned to me that I'm responsible for, right? So if I don't have anything in here, I'm good. But in this example, um, I have uh, some steps that need to be completed. So in this example, I uh, this is the one we just assigned to me. I can click on it. It brings me into uh, this step that I can review. You see here, I can go into the entire submission or in this example, my job is to review some plans that came in potentially redline them and, uh, and pass them back to the applicant. You'll see here, we also have a in, uh, uh, potential integration. If you had ePlanSoft or Bluebeam, uh, we can set up an integration here where you can utilize uh, redlining systems. A lot of our customers, some simply print it off and redline it manually and then scan it back in. Others use uh, free redlining systems like PDF to redline and uh, do it that way. But in this example, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, add some documents that need to be reviewed. In this example, these are the ones that were submitted and I'll 
uh, confirm that in. So I have that. You can see here it wasn't sent, sent to ePlan review in this example. And hypothetically, I did my uh, redlining, um, made my markings, and now I want to bring those corrections and markups uh, back into the uh, back into the system. So very easily in this example, I you know I had it marked as V1, and also this reviewed floor plan V1 have been sent. In this example, also, I have the ability to communicate with the applicant, and I can also even communicate internally with, uh, um, you know, city or county employees, and the applicant doesn't see that communication. But in this example, I'm going to communicate that my review is done, and I can use this message template functionality. In this example, I have a simple thing saying, hey, the, uh, the building plan, the building review is completed, you know, go in, look and make the changes. And I can post that message, which the applicant will receive uh, as an email and they can jump in, uh, review my changes and resubmit with the updated uh, changes in that example. Uh, I can also, in this example now, my part's done, I mark it as complete. And uh, we can jump uh, in jumping back into the submittal. You can see that everyone knows that part's done. We won't go through each of these steps, but I can mark uh, this part is done. Even jump in, uh, mark this part as completed. Um, and, and the applicant is being updated to these completion steps as well. Last workflow in this example, we're going to workflow it down to uh, permit issued in this example, and uh, in updating the status, uh, you can see the next steps that come in are, you're gonna have a building inspection when they're done their work, and then finally a, a certificate of completion. On the applicant side, again, they're getting these emails, and they're going to see they're in this new status. They're gonna see all those steps that have been completed and when they're ready, and we'll go in, in a different one they will up, up, uh, request an inspection. 